Welcome to the Daily Word for Easter. Today's reading is taken from the Book of Acts, chapter nineteen, verses one to eight. While Apollos was in Corinth, Paul passed through the inland regions and came to Ephesus, where he found some disciples. He said to them. Did you receive the Holy Spirit when you became believers? They replied, "No, we have not even heard that there is a Holy Spirit." Then he said, "Into what then were you baptized?" They answered, "Into John's baptism." Paul said. John baptized with the baptism of repentance, telling the people to believe in the one who was to come after him, that is, in Jesus. On hearing this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. When Paul had laid his hands on them, the Holy Spirit came upon them. And they spoke in tongues and prophesied. Altogether, there were about twelve of them. He entered the synagogue and, for three months, spoke out boldly and argued persuasively about the kingdom of God. This is the word of the Lord. Into what then were you baptized? Once again, Paul returned to Ephesus. Ephesus was at that time a metropolis in the Mediterranean region, and was an important hub for trade. There were exchanges of different cultures and beliefs, military and political competitions, as well as endless thirst for desires and sexuality. Every time when I learn about the background of these ancient metropolises, it reminds me of Hong Kong. Like Ephesus, Hong Kong is a world-renowned financial centre, with mergers of Chinese and Western cultures, and overthrowing material desires. As Christians living in these tension-filled cities, have our lives been lost in the hustle and bustle of the city? Have forgotten that we are baptized Christians, or would it be true that we are actually not knowing what baptism means to us? To put it simply, baptism is the sacrament of initiation, of bringing us into Christ. However, is there any other meaning to baptism besides calling yourself a Christian? What does baptism mean to you? In today's reading, Paul met about twelve disciples who had been baptized by John. To Paul's surprise, they had never heard of the Holy Spirit, so Paul explained to them, and then baptized them in Jesus' name, laid hands on them for the coming of the Holy Spirit, so that they could receive the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Brothers and sisters, through baptism. We are given strength and power to stand firm against all sorts of worldly temptations that have been sidetracking us to spend time, energy, and money to worship idols than God. But God, who loves us, would continue call us back to Him, even though we are living in this world. We can always overcome the temptation and hardship in front of us with eternal hope. By the graces of God given through the Holy Spirit, our lives will be transcend, and be able to bear fruits, and to glorify our Father's holy name. This is the life-changing baptism of water and Holy Spirit. Let us have a time of reflection. Have you received the baptism of Jesus Christ? Have you discovered what spiritual gifts be bestowed on you through baptism?
How have you made good use of the spiritual gifts given to you? How would you want the Holy Spirit to help you, so that you can have more fruitful life? Let us pray, Almighty God. Thank you for including us in your redemption plan and lead us the way of sanctification. May the Holy Spirit remind us that we are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's own people. Help us to testify your holy name in our words and deeds, through Christ our Lord. Amen.